then there was beginning a revival of pan-Islamism this idea of the total unity of the Islamic world which of course runs counter to the Arab nationalism because the Arab nationalism is in the eyes of Islamists divisive and the Islamists in spite of that picked up the nationalist idea of a continuing crusade but they globalised it and they restored ideology whereas the nationalists tended to say crusaders are simply out for, for profit the Islamists said Oh, oh no, there is, there is something more than that. And here they drew on the ideas of a very remarkable man who actually was dead, was executed by the Egyptians in the 1960s, a man called Said Qutb. And Said Qutb had developed a theory which he called crusaderism, sulubiya in Arabic. Crusaderism is a force... It's an elemental force, the main purpose of which is the destruction of Islam. It's deeply embedded in Western culture, and it uses and manipulates surrogates, surrogate forces, which are more superficial, such as imperialism itself. In other words, imperialism is a bad thing, but behind imperialism is crusaderism. Zionism. Zionism is used by crusaderism. Marxism is used by crusaderism. So, the Soviets in Afghanistan, the Jews in Israel, and sometimes, they say, the Hindus in India, are all puppets being employed by this force, crusaderism, to find ways of penetrating into Islam and then there's a sort of build-up to destroying it. This is why Uzama bin Muhammad bin Laden and his followers constantly talk about the crusade. For them, behind all these forces, there lies that elemental threat. So, so what has happened here is that they've taken a Western concept, if you like, that is the Misho Scott vision, if you like, hybrid vision of crusading. And they have created for it a kind of mythical personality and endowed it with force, with power, with such enormous power that it is able to manipulate almost everything else that they perceive to be a threat. But beyond that, of course, at several removes, Ridley Scott, the maker of the Kingdom of Heaven, and Uzama bin Muhammad bin Laden are conceptually cousins.